expensive uh, to, to see if there's actual root or just mud or, or what the, the thought is there. Um, I think he's going to make some kind of do a little investigation and, and um, we'll have a, a meeting to discuss what we think we should do. But I, I guess the good thing was um, we did find a significant blockage in the, in the northwest corner that still doesn't uh, there's always been a uh, right north of town uh, and east a little ways around where where this uh, tile heads east there's a there's a box where several tile meet and then it, it heads off southeast um, that doesn't do anything with that access problem if, if there's too much water there at that bulkhead it can still can't get away but did you dig any place Downstream of that bulkhead, we I mean it looked it looked just really clean. Okay. It's just right and like it, yeah. And it, so and everything is upstream from that bulkhead. That yeah, we dug down way. out in the uh, Amstros uh, across the, the blacktop. Yeah, across the It looks well, really good out there. It's it's and just it, clean as well. And that place that's only about half a mile from the, say the, the spot we dug down west of Lytton. Uh -huh. From there over where we dug down in Havistro, it was about a half mile. It was carrying four or five inches of water and moving right along. So, oh, that narrows it down. And so and it was yeah, clean. We, and it was clean right north of the, the apartment house, Wayne's, mm -hmm. you know, on the north edge. Mm -hmm. So, I'm almost, in my mind, I'm 100% sure that there's blockage from trees or something. And whenever you have blockage, it cuts down mm -hmm. the velocity of water. Sure. And when when you reduce the velocity, then the, the silt settles out instead of, you know, a big rain of water will move some of that silt out. But what's happened over time is the tree roots have gotten in the cracks of that 15-inch tile. Yeah, the 15. And they're in good shape. It looked real. The integrity of the tile looked good. That's so all. That's probably what's happened is we we've got a restriction in the very corner of town where the tile cuts through, and, and then from there on southwest towards the high, Highway 20, that you know, that main goes out in that field and that might not be in good shape either as far as yeah, that's, that's we really won't know until we dig. But the remedy is uh, Greg said fifteen inch tile, you know, you gotta buy it in twenty foot sticks rather than the rolls. I see. Cause it's, and it's four dollars a foot, so it's four dollars a foot laid. No. No, it's twenty dollars a foot. Twelve I, I was. I, I, mean, I shouldn't say it. It's it's a significant expense. I was I was also wondering, uh, as as uh, they went on yesterday, whether whether there's another option that you can lay two down with a machine versus yeah. the, you know I, I mean well, just you know, because those, one, those two, two eight, like I laid two eights on that waterway on a waterway project line. Like two eighths over there, Henry's mm -hmm. paintings. We laid two eighths, Marty did on each side of the waterway, and two eighths won't carry what one twelve. Okay. I, I was just I thinking about something that you could lay down. Because the twelve inch coming you know, from those two sections north of there, yeah, it goes into a bulkhead and split it out and run it in eighths, and the eighths sometimes won't handle what that big concrete. My my thoughts so so where you want the twelves? Where if we were if, if you could do something with a machine. You could do it for less than half, uh, probably about 25 percent of the cost, in, uh, versus these 20 foot sticks. So, so I don't know. I mean, I, we'll have to look at all the yeah. all the options. But I, I I'm I certainly know that a significant size tile with a machine would be just a fraction of the cost of what it would yeah. to be to to dig it the other way. So so are you going to contact well, Greg the Allen County Board? Or Greg is. Greg will. I will have. I guess we didn't talk about that. Um, okay. There, we we were just uh, as part of, part of the process. We were we were certainly pleased that that we did find uh, trouble there, rather than digging it up and it it was all very clean. But yeah. Um, now now it becomes how, what do you do about yeah. it? Yeah. And, uh, well, what's good about it is that, you know. It's more. It's kind of cut and dried. Calhoun County 
their board will, you know, it needs to be repaired. So it's, you know, it, it kind of takes the pressure off them. It's not a, a subjective decision on their part. It needs to be repaired. Mm -hmm. We've identified it. Now it's just a matter, you know, the town of Linton and, and uh, a couple of farmers that are proximity-wise right there uh, be a pretty good burden on them. Yeah. You know, say if we spent 40, 50 mm -hmm. But at least, uh, <coughs> I, you know, I'm kind of encouraged. Oh, I, I'm, I am too, certainly. And, and you, you know, you get, we, when, when we started in, um, we were, no one was quite sure where we needed to dig because no one knew where it was at. Yeah. And, and we just kind of by accident uh, found it the first time, just real quickly. And, and then we could see off northeast um, to the angle of, of the road ditch where the intake was and went out north of uh, Wayne's Market Building there and found it real quick again. Peg's not here, Ron's not here. Let's talk a little bit about the senior center. Um, I told Peg that um, Ron was coming and she agreed to set her time back to whenever you guys were available. That's great. Um, the other day, Chuck Germain and I went over to the uh, senior center and looked around in there a little bit. and. One of the first issues that we had was determining ownership of that piece of property. And I called Jeannie Green, and um, she brought this information to share. And there really is no description of that Monument Square other than Monument Square. And it doesn't say, um, It doesn't say anything about how it was acquired or anything, but um, this is just a history of, of that piece of property. And it kind of talks about uh, it being county property, and, and then it goes on to explain how um, the daughters of the, no, who was it? Daughters of the American Revolution. I'm thinking that's who it was. Anyway, the, the Board of Supervisors gave that group um, permission to use that building for their uh, meetings and that type of thing. And then, then in 1978, the board, or that group, um, entered into a lease agreement with the senior center. Um, Here's a, a supervisor's meeting February 14, 1977. The following resolution was properly adopted, whereas the GAR fall 1917. 1917. Located on the land of Sac County in the city of Sac City, Iowa, has reverted to and is the property of Sac County. Right. And it's now under the control of the Board of Supervisors of Sac County. And being maintained by civil war. Yeah. And then in that resolution, it goes on to say um, that the use of the GAR hall above referred to by and the same as hereby given to the General Sherman Post. Now, I don't know if that means the use is given to. I can't hardly believe what they gave in the building because we're still maintaining it. No, it's just use. Uh, yeah.